It's just an oxygen machine. It helped me breathe better. But to Mabel Randon, it's a lifeline. I'm in stage four, the last stage of cancer. She's living on borrowed time and borrowed electricity. I'm up and down all night, and that's because I'm kind of worried about whether the lights would be on when I wake up. This cutoff notice from her power provider heightens those fears. She got it after falling behind on her bill. I'm on a set income, and my husband lost his job. And uh, he found a little work every now and then, but it's been hard. Hard, but not impossible, she thought, to work out a deal. So she applied to Centerpoint Energy's Critical Care Customer Program, which tries to maintain service for people who depend on electrically operated life support systems. I'm fighting for my life. But the power company rejected the application. I'm baffled and I'm angry. We asked Centerpoint for an explanation. A spokesperson told us Mabel Randon didn't meet the criteria for critical care because she could buy a battery-powered alternative oxygen machine. The spokesperson added, quote, this program is a communication program, not a guarantee of uninterrupted power, even to customers who are on the list. But to Mabel Randon, this power meter seems like an hourglass. Measuring the time she has left to breathe and the time she has left to live. And what, what am I to do? What am I going to do? For the time being, <sighs> she's just gasping for air and help. Rux Russell, 11 News. <laughs>